In today's video, the tools you're going to need is a turkey baser to take out your old fluid. I got a 8mm socket that will fit my inch pound torque wrench. And I got a socket that will fit my lug nut a torque wrench that will use the socket to torque the lug nut. And I'm using a breaker bar to take off the lug nut. And don't forget your 8 inch millimeter wrench and my funnel. You're going to need the correct type of brake fluid. One container that will fit the brake fluid. The cap with the hole in it that could fit your tube. You also need a jack stand and a jack. Put your parking brake. Put the lash for your hood. Pull the lever, pull up your hood, pull up your lash, keep your hood up right here. First thing I'm going to do is take out the dirty brake fluid that is in the reservoir. It's very important if you get on anywhere wipe it up clean the brake fluid is corrosive and it will eat through your paint and now I'm gonna carefully pull in the new brake fluid here's my funnel just remember to come back and periodic fill up your reservoir as you pump all the dirty fluid out, you're going to need to bleed from each tire. You're going to first bleed from the rear right, then the rear left, front right, and the one front left. You will first need to break loose all your nuts. I'm going to jack up the car right here. I'm going to put the jack stand right here. Put the jack stand right here. With a jack stand in place, I can load down the car now. I'm gonna jack the car up right here. I'm gonna put the jack stand right here. I'm gonna put the jack stand right here. With a jack stand in place, I can lower the car.
with a car jack, I could finally take off the wheel. I'll show you where the bleeder valve is. In the back is this thing right here. Take off this cap and you see the bleeder valve. As you can see, I have a bottle right here to hold the old brake fluid. And I have the tube running down to the bottle. And the tube is connect to the bleeder valve right here. There's really three methods to do this. First method, you have the machine, you plug into the bleeder valve and it'll just suck out all the dirty brake fluid. Second method, I'm gonna have somebody in the driver's side, they're gonna keep pressing on the brake pedal and I open the valve as I press it down, brake fluid come out, I close it up and then let go of the brake pedal and you repeat the process. All right, go ahead. Pump it again. Okay, I'm opening. Okay, I'm closing. Pump it one more time. Okay, I'm opening. Okay, I'm closing. And the last method is I'm going to have the two go up higher than the rotor. And it's going to go into the bottle. And I'm going to break this open, the bleeder valve. And I'm just going to keep depressing the brake pad and the flu will keep coming out. Now that I see it all clear, I'm going to close it up. With the bleeder valve tight, I'm going to undo this. There is a torque spec for that bleeder valve. The torque spec for the bleeder valve is 70 plus or minus 8 inch pound as you can see my torque wrench does not fit that bleeder valve with my eight millimeter wrench i'm just going to tighten this bleeder valve by hand just remember 70 plus or minus eight inch pound is not much turning force just remember to put your bleeder valve cap back on Remember the wrench, I'm gonna go that direction.
The front side blue the valve is right here. And here I'm going to torque the bleeder valve. Now that the vehicle has been bleed, you can put the wheels back on.
while the tire on, I can jack out the car so I can take off the jack stand. Remember to torque down your lug nut. Torque spec is 73 plus or minus 8 foot pound. Just remember to tighten your lug nut in that crisscross pattern. Remember to top off your reservoir. Max line is right there, you can see it. So I'm going to close the cap tight. Take the lash off, so you put down the hood. Close the hood. And last, check the tire pressure and take your car out for a drive. Click the like button if you found this video useful and subscribe for future update. And again, thanks for watching.